All right, so in the last video, we have spoken about Selenium and Selenium library and we understood the difference that Selenium is a core solution written in Java and that enables us to do browser automation and it gives us support through various programming languages where we can use either Java, Python, JavaScript, Ruby and many other languages to do automation using Selenium core solution, right? But when we are talking about robot framework, right so robot framework is written in python itself and we need to use selenium core solution to do automation so we need a binding layer which enable us to use that selenium core solution and that binding layer is selenium library so that is a layer which gives us a lot of functions which are written in python and we just need to call those functions in robot framework like like we have called other functions of the built-in library right so that gives us flexibility to do browser automation using selenium solution okay so we'll be talking about opening and closing of browsers in this section and before we talk about opening and closing the browsers we need to see that how to import a library right because when we were talking about built-in library we need not import any libraries reason is that is imported by default but any other library that you are going to use you need to import explicitly all right, so we go to our red editor or if you want to use ride or PyCharm, whatever your choice, you just go to the editor window and first of all, insert a test case section. So this is my test case section and then I need to insert settings section and in the settings section, I need to import a library. So I mentioned library and then a tab, I'll give the name of library Selenium library. See, if you are using the older version of Python and Selenium libraries, the older version of the library name was Selenium 2 library. But if you are using the new version, which is Selenium 3, then the name of the library would be Selenium library and not Selenium 2 library. Okay. Now we go back to the test case and in the test case, we need to call a function to open the browser. So to open the browser, the function name is very simple, open browser and it asks for one mandatory attribute which is the url you need to give the url and the browser name or the browser choice is optional by default it is firefox but again you can pass it as an argument second argument let's say i put chrome here so it would be trying to access chrome and it would be launching this url see when i run this code i get an error initially and this error says me that web driver not found so it is searching for a chrome driver and it is not able to find that driver so what exactly is chrome driver because we have not spoken about chrome driver so far we have already installed robot framework we have already installed selenium library but we have not heard of this chrome driver so this is another thing that you need to download you need to go to google and you can download the drivers for Chrome, for Firefox, for IE, for any other browser that you want to use. Just go to the official website of Selenium and download the latest version or probably the version that is compatible with the browser version that you have on your system. You just download it and put it in a folder which is already in the path. So since we have already imported C, Python in the path variable of environment variables, so I keep my all drivers at this location only. Otherwise, you can keep it anywhere and then you need to import that path in the path variable of environment variables. Okay, so this is a very important point that need to be very clear because if you don't put the right path there and if that driver is not present at in the path variables, then it won't be able to resolve it and it won't be ever launching the browser. So it is important to take care of this. Now when we save this code and run again, it should be able to launch Chrome browser and it should able to open google.com. So that is how it works. Okay, so you have seen that we have successfully been able to launch Chrome. Now let's see if we are able to launch Firefox as well. So for Firefox, you can either put FF or you can put Firefox. Okay. So that is how you would be able to launch Firefox. And similarly for Internet Explorer, you need to put IE or Internet Explorer. For Edge, you need to have a Edge browser. So this entire list of names of the browser that you need to put here in the second argument 
you can find it in the help section of open browser function and once you find it there the complete web table is available over there and once you put the right name it would be able to launch that browser okay so now is the time to talk about the second function which is close browser since we were able to launch the browser we were able to launch the url now we need to close the browser after it performing a number of operations so for the time being we don't have any operations in between we just want to open it and then we want to close it so to close the browser which is currently open for that we have a keyword named as close browser if we run this piece of code we would be able to see that it opens the browser and then it closes it okay so this is how we can close the browser now let's say we open multiple browsers in one test case and let's say there are three browsers and if we use close browser here it would be closing only the last browser which was open so the third one that we have opened and won't be closing all other two browsers so to close all the browsers that were initiated by the test case you need to use close all browsers and if you run this code you would see that it would be able to close all the browsers that were open all right so i hope this is now clear to you and you are able to open and close the browsers if you have any question or if you face any challenge in this section make sure that the installation is correct make sure that your web drivers or all the drivers are correctly installed make sure that the browser version and the driver version are compatible to each other and if you're not able to resolve it do one single thing that download the latest version of the browser and the latest version of the driver that should resolve your issue right do not go to the earlier versions of browsers and try to find the best match of the drivers right so the easiest solution is download the latest version of the browser and the latest version of the driver okay i hope it is now very clear to you so we'll see you in the next tutorial